Chapter 5 Side B So we back to the beginning. Welcome again. back, Alex. Back to like a prologue type of shit. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Wait, what? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Wait, Springs? This is not prologue. This is prequel. No, 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 not this either. Like a, what? Sequel? Like this is like after the fact. I don't know what it is actually. No, this same shirt. Yeah, it's after the fact. Don't be afraid of my emotions. I learned to let myself feel. I guess we're alive, I guess. I mean, it wasn't killed, actually. What, what was and that? And to not be afraid of those feelings. What the hell was that? Couldn't one argue that those old fears turned out to be justified? What do you make of that friction? I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a pretty girl. But Alex, you're right back where you started. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. That's right. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. Holy crap. Seriously? Schizophrenia? What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. What in the fuck? What? Hey! <laughs> Who's sensitive? Don't tell me I missed the chance to knock. Is that what I look like? Oh, really? Shit. Okay, knock. Who's there? Um, Alex Chen. Never My heard guitar of her. case has again. never heard of me. Sure. Sure. Huh. Now we need to find out the code. That's a five digits. Even harder to crack, so we have to find the code actually. These don't belong to Dr. Lin. A tuning peg. Dr. Lin always recorded our... Uh, records our sessions. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened,
I guess that's me. Yeah, that's Case the number. number. 53322. 53322. Two. I think that's the code. Thrown down a. What? Alex experienced a detailed and robust delusions that she is able to read other people's emotional states and believes that because of this ability she is uniquely equipped to help others overcome their own emotional trauma. Difficult to overlook the irony. Someone as profoundly dysfunctional as Alex did, adapting the role of emotional caretaker. Had she not been returned to my care, I do not think it hyperbolic to speculate that her reckless attempts to fixing her friends family would eventually have gotten someone hurt. It's my belief that Alex's delusions constitute a threat to her continued well-being as well as those of others. Shit, man. Yeah, that was easy. I knew it. There was something in the room that hints me about it. They made it tolerable. That's perfectly. Oh yeah, it has missing the tuning piece. Fix. Holy shit, it was all delusion. What the actual fuck? So she actually wasn't killed. It was just Ill delusion and just half imagined. What? What? What the hell is going on now? Bloody hell. Oh, you survived. The fall. Well, I hope so. I hope as much. How do you fall, survive a gunshot and a fall this big? What the actual fuck? Well, figures that you have broken some bones. That makes no sense. But I'm more surprised you're still alive. What is that light? Uh oh. You're gonna fall more? Shit. Shit. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. Grab onto this. Oi! Yeah! Oh, fuck. Oh. Hospital. Someone saved us? What the next fuck is going on here? Alex! Oh no 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 no! If you're talking to her, him, that means you're dead. What the? F is he dead? What? You're dead. Fuck. So? You're dead too. Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. This took your fucking Where worst possible turn. Fuck. I want to say a hospital. Doctor Mendez to intensive care. Wait 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 wait. Dr. She's Mendes still to care. alive, right? She's just like yep, definitely hospital. near death experience, and she's Gabe. like one day out of the body, and she's meeting okay, the ghost. Here's what I do know. You are ten. I am fourteen. Our mother is sick. So is our father, but it's a different kind of sickness. Of what? Play your part. What part? 
Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Oh, you're taking back to that. Oh my god, this is like a memory reliving. When the mother is sick and everything, something. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. Yep, we deeply reliving she the was memory. Right over there, waiting for me. This is empty. There it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. Gabe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. Mom used to fidget with her keys whenever she was worried. Gabe? Alex? I need you to yeah, listen yeah. very carefully. We got some <laughs> scary news today. And I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom? Cancer? Are you okay? Probably. Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you understand? You only say that when Things you have a cancer. Different for a little while. But I am going to be okay. It's the biggest lie in mystery. Every we time spent so we much time in here that I basically cancer. memorized every article. Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. She's just on the other side. We're gonna have to do some hard choice in here again. Looks like one of those setups for big ass painful choices again. How many nights did Dad spend in this room, sleeping in an uncomfortable chair, and eating vending machine dinners? There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom, every time I saw her, I worried it would be the last. Bro, this is tell their sign of chemotherapy. They have towel instead of hair. That means they have been tried to cure, cure but it's in a so bad, Hi, bad state, it's not curable anymore. If only we had a cure for cancer, these shit stories wouldn't exist. <coughs> Mom. That sounds like Mom. lung cancer or something. Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Missed what? Ow! Gabe, why? I need to loop again. Stop. Both of you. What? Dad. Behave. Wait. Did I miss something? Water? No matter how much mom drank, her throat was always dry. It was always too hot in this room. She knew. Even then, she knew. What's Mom, the deal? What am I missing? What did we talk about? Seriously, what? There's no options I can do. 
Hi, so mom. I have to keep spamming this, I guess. Maybe just do the same thing and hope that something changes. The insanity thing. <coughs> 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 Mom. The game shows you to do that. Mom. And it works out. Water, Alex. Get her some water. Mm, okay, it is different. <coughs> yes, 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 yes. Let me move faster. This is definitely the lung cancer. Thank you. The throat cancer. One of those has to be breathing. You almost never cried. Breathing Even when you organs were related very small. something. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong. Even strong people need a weak moment sometimes. That's how they stay strong. strong girl I want you to make me a promise your brother your father they are going to need you you have to be strong Will you do that, Alex? That's <laughs> like, a, like a traditional medallion from like a Such Japanese culture. A brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I... I think so. 
Do you miss her? Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. This is going to suck so bad. Play your part. has a coasting effect on it. That's not how it went down, Shit. right? Yeah, definitely. Probably not. And this top already. Why is this game so scary? Is it a horror game? No. It was my job to keep the peace. But mom and dad had this TV before they had either of us. I tried so hard to keep my promise to her. Find the story out. Dad's laundry. I always said it. At least I managed to hold on to you, Shu Shu. What, what, what? Dad's laundry. I always set it here when it was done so he could find it. Cleaning Dad's ashtray was not my favorite job in the world. It was full of greeting cards. Mom, thanks for trying, lucky cat. Wait, what? It was full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. My job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections notice. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't afford the costume. I can't believe they were ever this happy. Almost empty. Almost always. I didn't even know what CPS was. Just that I was afraid of them. No, that is saddest shit ever. Two cups water for one cup rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Do your history homework. Serve. We never really touched these after mom died. She was... Gabe used to steal dad's beer all the time. It was like 
the one thing they didn't fight about. We never really touched these after Mom died. She was such a good cook. Keep doing it too fast. I feel like a pressure or something, and then I mess it up. Mom's old sewing kit. Don't think I've ever even tasted a butter cookie. Gabe loved Son of Lead back when it was an indie. It was too gory for me. Looks gory, like cyberpunk or something. The killer mistress tabs in this book weren't even close to right. Gabe and Dad were so loud when they fought. Where are you going? <sighs> are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job again. So we're broke again. Don't talk to me that way. <laughs> Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat? We can sell some records. Or or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now. I don't want to hear about Mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse oh to be a piece so of shit. <laughs> my God, don't fighting. fucking touch me! Piece of shit! Dad... <laughs> Oh! Damn it, Alex. Damn it. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I, I, I didn't. Dad, Dad, it's okay. What was the hurting end? Really, I'm not hurt. <laughs> I can't do this. Dad. Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Someone. Okay. That's the story Dad. of him living then. I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. That's probably the last they saw him. Oh, is this guy solving anything? Even the kids alone. 15 and 10 year old, 11 year old. What? Somehow, still alive? We just drifted out of consciousness. What? No. Why is he making mind sounds when in a bed? What? What? I'm so confused. It sounded like a mind. It's still going on, the horror store, horror dream. Hey, can I ask you a question? Who's that? Oh. Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Oh, yeah, the story continues, of course. Even Kinda thought it'd now. be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. You are 12, I am 16. 
I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Yep. Then you're Living 13. All of the childhood traumas. 14. 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. No one does. Play your part. Yeah, play your part. <sighs> play my part. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. <laughs> Hence, stupid. Guess I missed a few days. How are you holding up, Shu? Can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. Damn, leave. We weren't allowed to bring glass into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Like hamsters in a cage. Except if you give a hamster a glass, they don't toss it at the other hamsters' heads. Oh, shit. Pretty sure it's locked. Must be after curfew. We're not going anywhere. God, they put me on so many meds. Yeah, I don't want to even spell those names. What the fuck? Did any of them ever work? Some of them helped, a little. None of them fixed me. In their defense, mutant empathy isn't exactly in the DSM. Why is Orphan is such a chill? They used to say this place wasn't a prison. Well, it is, though. Well, maybe they were trying to keep you safe. Shit. Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cause, fuck you. Business must adhere to their sound skills not all time and not limited to loiter loitering the dormitory outside of the United States. What the fuck is loitering? Glass and silverware are the window clean. Do not bring this into dormitory. Non resident person not permitted to dormitory. Lights out of course at 9 pm every evening. No music, no TV, no screen time. That's all. Please adhere to any of these rules. Yeah. This, yeah, this is prison. They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. Do you really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? Yep. We was a prophet. I remember the kid who put this here. Sadie, Sally, uh, something with an S. No you were they friends at first, right? They would Way at escape. first. Shit. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? I kinda think you already know the answer to that question. What is this zombies? Holy crap, what the fuck? She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. It says here she's sensitive. What does that mean? I 
wonder why she's never found a home before. I'm sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This what is the hell? The that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I I really do. But there's just something. Oh. Broken. You didn't miss. Wrong. With her. <laughs> Shit. Breaking point. Many more of the scenes with Odo. I'm sorry. Why? You need to see it. See what? See what? That nobody picked me. Nobody picked you. That's right. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. <laughs> Seeing that mom died, dad left. I bailed. Why are you acting you like a fucking together? It was demon. my job to keep us. You were 11 years old. How is that you too were old for old. someone's you were foster a kid? kid. What the fuck? Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Can we? We are dead. Make it better. Supposedly. Now get up. Who are we? What? What? Get up and fight. What? What? So we are definitely out of consciousness. <laughs> and we are alive. <gasps> and somehow able to move without breaking big major bones and not being paralyzed or anything. <sighs> I guess this meat parts that broke off all softened it's just enough so we didn't break anything major and survive on top of that. And not without too much. That's very lucky. Considering what the fuck. Also, what? They were shooting them. How the fuck they survived the shooting? That's my biggest question. Bro, what? Blue cat cat Blue Without E okay, They are broken something because they can't move at all Black lantern Okay we will Try, try Oh, that's your last match, of course. Pull yourself together. If you can still, then pull yourself together. We need to find a way out. We still can move. We're not dead. We can move. Let's do this. We can finally find out why and what was this cover-up needed for. What are they hiding in there? We are still alive to find it out. And able to move, nonetheless. This is good news after all. Oh, hey, I've back got to, to find a way out of here. Okay. 
This is where we came from. Okay, there's nothing else to wait. No more ladder. Not that I'd be much good at climbing. Mines growing into mines, just like Judd said. Probably cannot get in there. We're not strong enough to get, break it off. I'm gonna choose not to read anything into this. Yeah, that would actually kill you. That wouldn't be a good idea now. I could stuff. almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. Something is definitely broken. You did not get unscathed from this floor. How long has this stuff been down here? Just hope we can pull it together just enough. We can find a way out and make this worth it, worthwhile. Just mining stuff, nothing different, nothing special. What is it? Oh no! No, 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 come on, no, 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 no! I just feel that fucking panic. I scared of fucking okay. school. Okay. Okay. I can do this. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Shit, I almost feel the panic. I can imagine what it feels like to be there. Because I've been playing too much fucking dark horror maps in real life and everywhere. Games like that. I can imagine it well. Okay, that's something. That's that. That's some. That's not a light. It's some kind of energy. Some emotion or some shit. You're using some emotion reading of the tunnel to move That now. aura yes. is the only lead I've got. All right, boys, getting close. Helldivers for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. Oh. A lot of runoff Finally. moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is shit fucked. wasn't a Nothing's hero fucked. after all? Jed, we got me? no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We Maybe finish the someone. job. He might be... He in the deep end with the sassos. Steady goes. Steady. Fuck was... Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Helldiver? Who's on radio? Whoa, what's just noticed the names? Fuck! Helldivers. Reference. Jet! Oh my god. We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now. <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. I see it already. Stop postponing. Okay. What's the thing? Tension building. Can I? Oh, what the hell? It's. Oh, hell no! Dad. It's her dad that was killed here. Holy shit! Because he. Remember? Where the devil sleeps. Okay. He 
what they might tell them just because he just before that's why he had these memories. It was important, huh? But Jed, Mr. Chen, come back, Jed, you son of a bitch. Had this metal. Chen, yep. you gotta stop, man. Jed! I wanted the chance to stop. Fuck you, Chen! It's over, Chen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm Wait. so sorry. Someone else died as well. What? I don't make sense of this too much. He, obviously, this Mediala was in a rock pile. So he probably was crushed. Or something. Please don't meet Chad again. He's gonna fucking try to kill you again otherwise. Because he was convinced that you're dead. Chad Lucan. This location is similar. Ah, yeah, that fucking black for saving something. <coughs> Deserved. Oh yeah, Ryan Lucan. It's his kid. What did that take this long to understand this? We definitely took a fall and had a worse ending subsection of the game. In this chapter but we didn't and die during my time here i've come to realize what makes haven so special it's a flower shop run by multiple generations a bar owner who greets every customer by name it's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years are they having a wake for history alex loyalty Pride. Somebody else. What is this? These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been oh, so no. successful. She's come here it's to pitch been another my fucking fire out. To renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. And this bitch is still fucking. Speak you Thank you, as a fucking wood I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Surprise, motherfucker. Back from a dead. Or so you thought. At least supposedly dead. Confront him. They can't try to kill us again in front of everyone. Alex! Oh my god! I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Shit happened. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex. You're hurt. That's not. That doesn't matter. If you're still able to pull through, we need to talk things Do first. Do you out. need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you, and so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? You attempted murder, you piece of shit. Fuck you. What the hell happened? Can we tell him already? I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father.
Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. All they care about is making more money. I told you. They'll do money whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence. <clears throat> and nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? It was just a bootlicker, dude. And it wasn't even a tycoon. We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. Oh my god. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous... Very oh, now they're turning it on us. Do. Making us a criminal. Again! Fucking we bitch! All sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and Stop turning into my story and making unfair. it into our fault. It was a piece of shit. Why don't you just tell the truth? You've been planning your exit from Typhon anyway. What? You never signed up for threats or attempted murder. You hate this. Now's your chance to stop. Dad, do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. What I the don't. fuck? I've yeah, tried to be there for proof. Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is... What is this bullshit? Sometimes, when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. This is an act! You're lying! Please. <sighs> I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. I would like to speak. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. Ducky, you're being unhelpful. What? How so? Alex, sweetheart. You know our mind can play tricks on us. This is like a fever dream. None of Only it is people so fault. assholes about it. It's so hard to admit you need help. What the fuck are you on about? But struggling alone. No. You shouldn't have to go through that. We're all worried about you. Let us help you. Charlotte. No. Leave me alone. 
I don't want any more of this. They killed Gabe. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. Prevent future All I know accidents is and everything problems. falls to shit when you're involved. Corruption. There's something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. I can't help you. I'm sorry. All this starting with a fucking typhoon. Are you kidding me? Don't worry, Alex. I got this. At least some of oh, them are doing, but this is sake. few versus many. Have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes. We went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Yeah. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know Don't how you... test me, Jason. <laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. And not of you. Not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell yes. I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself uh, from the no. crap. If you think you could shut me up, Jason, I think you better cool it. No, I it concerns me that a voting member you believe of the me? council has openly admitted right? to a personal bias. This is a load of bullshit. <laughs> Ryan? Ridiculous. We're all getting ahead of Why are you doing this? I'm not your lapdog anymore. Deputy Pike, I am not. My dad is not a murderer. <gasps> Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? It's just that's the truth. I thought we were in this together. For Gabe. Things have changed. We have found out the new Ryan. evidence. No. New problems. New I'm issues. not going to let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. No way. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck, fuck you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you. Stop. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. The world never gave him anything for free. He fought just to stay alive. He fought for us. Maybe he was finally winning. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was building a family here, doing it his own way, figuring it out as he went along. He was so nervous about it and so excited. And he brought me here to be part of that family. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. 
to get through. They even changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to help people. Because it's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. You've forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a good man. You take care of so many people. You gave me a roof and a job. You checked on me when I was grieving. Such a good, generous man. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And then you gave your soul to Typhon. You let them tell you how awful it would be for your wife and son to find out. You let them tell you that Haven was more important than the men who died. When it really mattered who you were and what you stood for, you let Typhon decide for you. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. So we can still salvage him. He was just a pawn of the Typhon and he was kind of regretful trying to kill us. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. And I yeah, forgive you. I can see the person behind. It was just manipulated. <laughs> they need they need this they need forgiveness. They can't be pressing <laughs> them. <laughs> oh. And the news is still coming in on the Typhon mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, 
caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. Mission with the clear. Hey, hey, when the record trades is currently accepting the applications, right, you will be shown the applicants with previous retail podcast experience. You load the application on our website. We'll be conducting interviews next week. Dope. It was very tough applying if you're hiring 16 year olds. Lol. But um, is there a certain opening? Who left? Nobody just yet. But to be honest, I'm gonna find the exits. Looking for new adventures. Oh, jeez. I missed ya. Back at you, Guido. Oh, yeah. Steph is gonna leave. Of course. Charlotte Do Harman. I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. Hello, friends. I've decided to open back up for missions. I think we're all looking for ways to stay busy right now. Making art has always been my favorite method. So please get in touch if you want a portrait. Try to keep my rates reasonable. And they offer discount for first time commissions. Awesome news. Should we call the shop? That works fine. I've got some continued support for you. We at Typhoon Mining would like to express our gratitude towards Haven Springs for continued support. That is your statement, which is available for a read on our website. Where's the website? Man? We can't access it in this game. The phrase recent events is doing some work in this post. Due to the recent events, the Black Panther will remain closed to regular business until further notice. Why is it that the place deceiving? It never ends. Statement recording the ongoing investigation in Seven Springs. We appreciate the community's concerns. Details are, details are still emerging, and we are cooperating with the state police. We currently have exactly as much information as any of you. Attendum. State police have tapped Deputy Jason Pike to provide assistance in this case and has such. Management of his account has been handed over to another deputy. But we acknowledge that Deputy Pike has come to play a special role in the Haven Spring community. We urge you to direct all inquiries through official channels. It's just to understand how all of this could happen under your noses. What's going on over there? This is not an acceptable statement. Nothing prospective for our boys in blue. Singular point page returns to Typhon's tune. There's no way the cops didn't know. There's something they're not telling us. Follow the money. Drop your tinfoil hat, you loon. Hello, neighbors. Thank you for making last night's Spring Festival such a responding resounding success. Now comes another annual tradition, cleaning up after ourselves. We'll need a few volunteers to help us spruce up the park in the wake of last night's festivities. Work begins as soon as today is concerned and meeting concludes. Top your name in the hat. Sure, why not? I'm down. We're pretty hungover, but Jesse and I might be covered by this afternoon. Tentative. Tentative, yes. Take care of you first. But if you're feeling for it, we'd love to have you both. Go to open the bar, sorry darling. Oops. I can't really not be opening for lunch today, on account of the town council work. We see you for happy hour. Yes and jobs. Yes and prosperity. Yes and expansion. You do realize that expanding mining operations outside of Haven is temporarily fixed, right? That's not even a considerable environmental impact. Do you have any proof? What do you want? A bibliography? I don't need... I don't keep situations at the ready on the off chance I encounter someone who isn't willing to accept the truth. That's what I thought. Piece of shit. Typical internet garbage. I'm so sorry, I worried you. With a face this time. Hey, anybody seen Alex today? We agreed to meet love last night, but then she ghosted. Super not like her. Kind of figure out. Oh no. Have we contacted Jason? What is cell? No response. I'll try 91 next. That's troubling, I haven't seen her. Keep me posted video. Oh my god. He actually played into this. I bet Steph wishes she could reward that. Hello, as but many of you. It's pretty funny. 
No, I'm a freelancer for the Rocky, for the Rocky Mountain Gazette. I'm writing an article about this evening's incredible performance at the Spring Festival. I can't talk, but I can't take down the band's name, you do know? Me hey man, so we aren't like a band as such, so we don't really have a name yet. Hey, no worries. Can you get the names for the article? I'm Steph Greenridge, Brains of Operations. My muscle is Alex. How's she's gonna die when she sees this? LOL. Thank you. Beautiful performances. What a wonderful spring festival. Thanks for everyone who made it. Be such a beautiful celebration. Celebration. Now spill the beans. Who got the rose? I know someone who might have got the one. I think I might know someone who got one as well. Sigh. Hang in there, bud. Can I brag for someone else? I don't see why not. As long as the someone has given the permission. Hey, Steph, do you have a have permission to brag about the rose you got last night from your crush? Goons. Lol, come on, man. So much messages. Hello Alex, this is Jessica Martinez from Rocky Mountain Gazette. Sorry to contact you out of the blue. I know you've been through a lot. We are working on a story about the Typhoon controversy and the love to speak with you. Either on or off record about your experiences. I'm not really comfortable talking about it right now. Your comfort would be my priority. Please contact me at this number if you change your mind. Thank you for your time and stay safe. Thank you. Okay. Steph. If you are guilty but I'm here for you no matter what. Call me the man to need anything. I know. Thank you for having my back. It means so much. Of course. How do I how could I not? Do everything. But Alex, I'm sorry. My dad was a hero. That's what everyone said for years. And it took so many so many lies to hold that up. Disgusting, terrible lies. Life on life, dad lied, but worst of all, I lied to myself. Even when the truth was right in front of my eyes, I pleaded him over you. I'm so sorry, and hope one day you'll forgive me. I think it's good. I just was blinded by the rage. Hey Chen, I didn't think you'd actually take down Typhon. You're braver than I ever imagined. Now you owe me a new job. I'm glad you're okay, really. Ah, uh, thanks, Mac. I you got something out. It's not the end of the world. Dear Alex, you've been through an awful lot of these past few weeks, but your resilience and courage continues to astound me. I have no doubt that you will weather this abhorrent against your person with the same grace as you demonstrated to me during your, our lovely dance at the Spring Festival, a moment I will not soon forget. But please remember that we are here for you, sincerely, Regional McAllister III. I know, and I appreciate you thinking Picking up for me, Rocky. You were right. You needed me. One woman who should have believed you above everyone. You failed. Sure, it's okay. Just take care of yourself and eat them. A lot? Mm. What happened? Just wait for you. God knows what's up. That's awesome, Ethan. You guys look great. Thanks. Um, I heard what happened. You were weren't gonna mention being a superhero when I texted yesterday. I'm so glad you're safe. Oh, thanks, buddy. Me too. Is your mom doing okay? I'm worried about her. She's fine. I think it's my turn to take care of now. Maybe that's weird, but I'm pretty sure it's true. A lot less weird than you think. She's very really lucky to have you. Alex, Arthur Jones, with a New York telegram, we want your story, your ongoing typhoon call coverage. 
and it's good time to speak over the phone. Sorry, I'm not doing any media right now. Getting a lot of requests. When did you learn that your father lived in Haven Springs and worked with Jed Lucan? How did it feel to learn that Jed Lucan was responsible for the mining accident that killed your father? When did you... Why do you think that Jed Lucan confessed to his crimes? This caller has been blocked. You will no longer receive messages. Okay, yeah, this is fucking... Like... Ravens or what's it called? Vultures, yeah. Uh, fine, Alex, please pick up. Just let us know you're okay as soon as you can. I'm pretty sure you just lost your phone, but the rent's picking out. Okay, we're both picking out. We just want to make sure you're safe. Call us, Alex. Shit. Okay. Anything in the journal? There's one more page I didn't see yet. Chat, Alex, chat, Alex. I got good at describing other people's emotions in this book. Even new emotions, complicated ones. I could push through the mystery, find the words, but I don't know if I can do that uh, here. I know that something in me resonated with something in chat. Each hooking into the other. Drawing us together. I saw it in him, and it was like walking into a house you used to live, live in, seeing what someone else has done to it. Blazing self-hatred, so bright you can't let yourself look at it. The sure knowledge that you spread brought to everything you touch. The rigid feeling of it all, the routine, the like, the line to memorize and regurgitate to keep yourself from scumming. So coming to the pool and looking at the truth. Maybe that's why I forgave him for all of this. The heat and force of his loathing required we, me to face my own. Like two magnets of the same polarization, pressing each other backward. The bullet, the fall, the hospital, the house, the orphanage. Is it weird that I feel grateful for them? Grateful to Jed for giving them to me, however accidentally pushing me to look at my own self-hatred and come out the other side. Fill your hands with grains of sand. In the rocks you see the clocks. Though they could hunt, I could be brave. Nothing can save you, nothing to save. Of times that pass, the good, the bad, the life's the life you'll wish you had. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Pendant, Chapter 5 For most of my life, I've known what other people were feeling. Couldn't escape it. Sometimes it felt like I was drowning, flailing to keep my head above water and sinking away. In all that time, the only person whose feelings I really wanted to understand was you, my dad. And then, I found you at the bottom of the world, and I finally felt that, felt what you were feeling, and what's messed up is my emotions were just so normal human i guess fear regret the same stuff as everyone else the same stuff i've been drowning in since i was a kid shouldn't take an empathy to know that but i think i needed to feel it before i could let you go and now the only person whose feelings i still need to understand is me Mom. Mom's key, chapter 5. I think I was too young to really understand what she was telling us. I knew that sick people went to the hospital. They didn't want my mom to be sick. 
that was the extent of it. Damn it. We knew she was dying. Even as she told us that everything was okay. She was thinking, uh, thinking about how many seconds she had left with us. She needed us to believe things would be okay. She wanted to give that to us. A month, maybe two, maybe six or seven. Where we could just love our mom without ever wondering when she'd be gone. She did it for us. But god damn it. I wish she hadn't. Maybe if I'd known, I would have soaked more of the help. Kept more of my memories of her safe. After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Let's go. The one time I'm supposed to go there, we can't go there. Can you ever see this? Hey, Steph. Nearest? Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. What? Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. Yes. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. Finally. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd That's rather sweet. stay here instead, then... What Fuck are you it. doing? I want to stay here too. Okay, that's good news. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah? How'd it feel? Say the word. Amazing. You've uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. You didn't luck, say Jane. the word. Thanks, Steph. Ah. Okay. All right, just tell me. What? My future. What to do? Nobody knows. The night of the Spring Fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course. That was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. <laughs> Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. <laughs> of course, you're right. I've never had a home before. Friends, a job, a place to live. Why would I give that up now? And if you go out there, she was scared. <sighs> and they just now they confessed, and now they. Are then again, maybe the again. leaving would be better. What? What? You're young. You suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Are you fucking with us? Stop it, Gabe. 
I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. I know. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. Yes, that is definitely better than being a travel agent. And little by little, time does its thing. Now. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. of Jed, of Typhon, even of me, begin to fade into the background. D&D, 20, D20. Oh, what a wonderful sight, too long. The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Oh yeah, we could start it here. We create the foundation here and then we start touring. Or maybe you never think That's about that better. much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place yeah. just as much as it has transformed you. That's true. Every part of the community affects other And the most community. extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it. You don't doubt it. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. 
the life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. No problem. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. The home is what you make it so? to be. Home is where you, you are. Think? Exactly. You know? Home is where you are and what you make of it. I'm still wanna stay here. Actually, no, no, I wanna seek adventure. Yeah, home is where I you know are. What I want. And Steph was come with us. Sam just comes with us and we are. Making our home wherever we land. This is still remains our home. We come back to here once in a while. I hope. Uh, yeah, they both go in. Very good. Exactly as I thought. Life is worth experiencing new things. But yeah, adventure is definitely a welcome option. Probably a better option even. Being coward. Let's go. Let's get over that stage fright for the day. Uh, uh, that's that. Okay, fuck him up, babe. <laughs> uh, yeah, time to rock and roll. Okay, now this must be the final act of the episode. Chapter. A minute more, I think. Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Chen. The only promise is the adventure. There it is. I knew it was pretty close to the end. I was expecting an actual like performance too, but yeah, that's good enough as well. Oh, I have to hold it to speed up. Cold, but we're 
tides that pull you Actually, that's a good design. I can stop for looking at pictures. Oh, good. Riley got into college. That's that picture. For a long time, I would sit alone and think that I'm better off all by myself, even if I sing. But you found me, and you helped me see the light, the dim fluorescent flicker in a dark defeated night. Share of losing, and I've hung on by a thread within meaning, and the memories gained friends and wrote some melodies in the darkness. I just couldn't look ahead, I was blinded by my own self doubt and forgot what I was all. Nothing comes 
things too easily when joy is dangerous i've had my fair share of losing and i've hung on by a thread within meaning and fine it's like whatever thanks for playing thank you for making this game such a roller coaster alex hit the road to play her music Alex forgave Ted for his actions. Alex claimed she learned not to fear her emotions. Some members of the council stood with Alex. How are you supposed to make them all stood? Oops, I can't believe this. Alex wanted to help more people in the future. Alex didn't sit on his bed. Oh my god, there was an option? There was only Luke option there. He didn't see Ryan after the vote. Why are we supposed to see them? Damn it. Charlotte turned her back on Alex. How are you supposed to? Again, impossible. Game is, as always, cheating. Not giving you a clear option how to achieve other options. Eleanor offered to get Alex help. Like side up with Alex during the vote. That's cool at least. Talk side up with Alex during the vote. Ryan believed Jed during the vote. Damn! How? Ryan and Alex don't get together. Well, that's obvious. Steph and Alex leave Haven together. Yes. 